for a while now I've been wanting to build some ground solar mounts and I also wanted it to be movable so I built this one and I'm pretty happy with it it's pretty simple pretty inexpensive it's basically two four by four by eights and then on the sides we've just got two by four I actually just had one two by four by eight that I cut and was able to get both sides with one eight foot length and then the solar mounts are these just these little adjustable solar mount strut thingies uh, there's a uh, hinges that come with the kit that are up in the front and then these adjustable struts here in the back and then the frame itself is just on right now i've got them on four inch casters from harbor freight and that seems to work fine and then i've got some eye lags with a piece of rope that i can use to pull it and that actually works really well and I've got that on both sides. So that, it's quite easy actually. It's not hard at all to move it around with that rope. Now if you don't have the rope, you can, you can kind of push on this, but it's a lot harder using the rope right here. You're actually kind of pulling up on the frame, which helps it along. And uh, in the middle of summer, I'll be able to adjust these down easily, uh, about a foot, to get the summer angle a little bit flatter, because of course the sun's going to be running across overhead where I'm at. But yeah, all in all, it was very inexpensive and really easy. So I'm actually going to build a second one. And I've got the lumber for it here. I've got the solar mounts in these boxes. As you can see, it just comes with all the parts. It's got lag screws. It's got the bolts that you use to mount it to the panels. And then I actually just bought these casters off Amazon, and these were quite cheap as well. I think these were 20 something dollars for the whole set. And these are five inch casters, so one inch bigger than the ones I have on the unit I've already built. So this should be even easier to move across the yard. All right, so let's get started building it. All right, so here's the start of the frame. I trimmed the four by four by eight down to 92 inches. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. I just wanted it to be closer to the, the actual width of my panels that I'm using. Uh, that way I can save as much space as possible. And then I cut the one two by four I had into two pieces 43 inches a piece because that's the width of my panels the width of your panels may be different so uh, your measurements might be tweaked a little bit the other thing that i've done is i went ahead and pre-drilled holes and that's for these lag bolts to go through and these are quarter inch by three and a half inch lag bolts and I've added a washer and that's what I'm going to use on the ends to strap these 2x4s to the 4x4s. Four Alright, so I just get like a lag bolt started and poking out a little bit on the end. That way I can kind of use it as an index and get it lined up real nice. There we go. One side down. The battery on my impact driver died right there at the last minute, so I had to do some manual driving. All right, so the frame is all assembled. Now we can put the casters on.
There we have it. We've got our casters installed. And we are now mobile. I do like those five inch casters much better. A lot more ground clearance. Even though it's only one inch, it seems like a lot more. What I'm getting from these, now of course these are in the grass, so I do believe I'm gonna order another set of those five inch casters for this one though. All right guys, so now we can install the hardware on the solar panels. And I've already removed the components out of the box. There's a couple of pieces that you need to assemble. You need to insert these L brackets onto these struts. These already come attached, but you want to snug this bolt up, not so tight that you can't move it. And these bottom mounts here, same thing, you need to snug that bolt up, not so tight that it pinches it to where you can't move it. So I start down here at the bottom. Take your bolt. The nut's gonna go on the inside. And that nut is serrated. So it actually grabs once it's pretty much snugged down. So you don't really have to have anything back behind there holding it. At least I didn't. It might spin a little, but it'll eventually grab in. And then I'll just tighten it down. There we go. Now here's a tip for you. If you've got bifacial solar panels, this coating on the back can be really, really thin. Like this is just kind of like a, a plastic sheet. Uh, be careful with the edges of stuff like that. If that taps that, it can actually knock a hole in the back of your panel, which then will let moisture in and stuff like that. You don't want that to happen. There we go. We got the, the mount kit installed to the panel. Now we just gotta take this panel and pretty much just set it on top of there and bolt it down with the lag bolts. It just kind of sets in place really easy. Now all I've got to do is go over there and bolt it down. So now that I got these on the side right here bolted, there's one on the inside that I can't quite get to, but they're fixed in the front right now. So I can easily just tilt this a little bit like so. And now I can bolt those down. All right, one down. Super simple, guys. Nothing to it. All right, I got both panels on. Nearly complete. I got the rope attached on this side. So we can go ahead and put this one on.
that's it. It's complete, guys. Yeah, so as long as you're not trying to tread this through your muddy yard, <laughs> you're probably perfectly fine. There you go. Got both of them built. I've got those five inch wheels on order already coming for this guy because those are much better wheels. You want to consider, you know, the wind blowing these over or just blowing them out of your yard or something like that. So take some precaution on that. I've seen some things on Amazon, some ground anchors that you screw into the ground. So that might be an option just to tie them off. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave links in the description and I'll catch you on the next one.